Previously on a Dream Machine, your desire shall be to your husband. A dream? No, it's not. <gasps> the fuck is happening right now? What? He hello? Wh why are you? Wh why are you here? No parents need to watch their kids having sex, man. Like. Why? I mean... Why? Didn't you like it? The, the fuck? Why? Eddie... Eddie... I wanna save you. What? Hold up, what is that? The, the, why do I need a doorstep? <laughs> A door stop, I mean. It's a wedge shaped door stop. Eddie, I'm gonna save you. Hold on. Eddie! You don't have to be like her, Eddie. You can stop. You can just be yourself, man. You're cool enough, man. You don't have to. Act like someone else, man. God fucking beat the shit out of you, tentacle. Fucking, the tentacle seems to have borrowed the shape of the old woman. I wonder why. Eddie. Mr. Nev. It seems you haven't been totally forthcoming with me. I'm so sorry, Eddie. I didn't mean to knock you out like that. I knew something was up when I saw you outside my door. You had that look about you. Please. Eddie, let me explain. I didn't see any other way. You and everybody in the building is in danger, man. Uh, this tentacle, this, this thing here, is part of the machine I have to shut down. Or it will keep drawing energy from you and everyone around, uh, everyone around it. <laughs> is that what that thing is? I've seen it in my dreams before. It's been tethering me to this place for as long as I can remember. I need to s server the tentacle somehow. Do you have something sharp I can use? I only have these needles and a small pair of scissors. The scissors fine. Do you think that would help? I could poke the shit out of it if I want to. Just shank it. I can't shank it with a needle. You could. You could. Eh, whatever. You know what? Doshio. You know what? Let's go from top. Yeah, throw me the needles. I can pull them out. That would unravel my knitting. Okay, it's worth a try. Throw me the pair of scissors. It's cool. But I need them to trim the yarn. Eddie, can I just borrow them briefly? Please. I'm trying to save you. I really can't knit without them. <laughs> Think of something else. I'm sure you will, dear. Ah. Uh, okay. Wait. <laughs> ah, door stop. Made of rubber, I'm guessing, or maybe wood. Maybe it'll work. Beat the sh. The skid is far too thick for this to do anything. Oh my God. She's draining her life away. Sharp. Anything sharp? What? Who? Who? Who are you? You mean me? You can see me. You're very faint, but I can see you. What are you doing here? Are you a ghost? 
It's a long story, Eddie. Let's just say I'm trying to help you, okay? Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Why? Am I in trouble? No, no, no. An older version of you is, uh, but uh, I'm working to find a solution. I might be able to help. How? Show me the problem, and I, I might be able to find a solution. Ho! Huh! I thought you. I thought you might need cheer. Uh, uh, I thought you might need cheering up. Hold up. How? How? Okay, okay, think, think. Cause I need Eddie in order to cross this, right? No, I don't need Eddie. What the shit I'm talking about? Wait, but it's locked, right? When I try this this side. How how can I Cause uh, Wait, maybe it'll work now. Okay, so. Um. Take. This away. Take this away. Take it. Put it here. Uh, put it here. There. The photograph of a. I know. Here. And let's go out. And please open the door. It's locked, of course. All right. Ah, uh, do show. Put it here. I I know, bro. Eddie, what was it I needed to do again? Show me the problem. Only then will I be able to help you. Ah, uh, how? I thought it. I thought it would get better once we moved. <sighs> okay, just don't mind it. Oh wait, kitchen. Why did I not think of that? Hold up, kitchen, house. But I need to show her the problem. <sighs> that will not work, right? How? <sighs> Examine door. Oh, 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 you know what? Let's, let's, uh, let's make, take, make, make a shortcut. Uh, I got this. I got this. Uh, which one? Uh, house? Yeah, examine house. Uh, I got this. I got this. I totally got this. All right. Mm. And put it here. Boom. All right. Now, enter hallway. I just have to open the door. I got it. I got it. Excuse me, excuse me. All right. Now, use this here. Boom. The door has been wished open. Yes. Now, get out. All right. And then, go here. Okay, take this. Bring this. Uh, Take that, I guess, and bring this here. Take, why not? Take this. Put it. What if I put everyone in here? What if I put everyone in here? What will happen? Yay! Okay. Eddie, do you see it? The tentacle, sharp, sh uh, sharp, shaped like an old woman, is drawing any energy from you. Show me the problem. Only then I'll be able to help. Uh, it's right there! But I'm showing you the problem right now. W what more do you need to see? Hello there. What an odd of Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Maybe. Maybe. 
I just have to get over here. Talk to you. Talk to you. I need a sever. I need to uh, sever the tentacle somehow. I only have the needles and a. I only have a needles and a saw, pair of scissors. Do you think that would help? God damn it! You won't give it to me anyway, Eddie. De uh, I'm sure you will, dear. God. Okay. I need to get rid of those two. I'm guessing. So yeah, get the fuck out of here. Leave. Bring it here. Okay, Eddie, for love of God. Do you see it? The tentacle, shaped like an old woman, is drawing energy from you. Do you see it right now? Show me the problem. Only then I'll be able to help. It's right there! It's right there! Yo! What, what do you... What do you want from me, Eddie? I just want to help, okay? What... Uh. You know, can I just go to the kitchen and get a knife? Is it that easy? Probably not. Probably it's a lot more to do. I don't I didn't even see a knife here. Yeah, what more do you need? What more do you need? Oh man, hold on. What more do you need? There is no knife. I don't see a single knife. I can't even open these. What shit do you need? Why not? Anything new? Doesn't she take care of you? Whoa. <sighs> Shut up. I bet Eddie did her best. She even tried to answer your expectation, okay? I bet she. Fuck you guys. She's cool as she is. Fucking. Fuck you. You too, man. Fuck you. God. Fucking out. So, uh, one thing I could try is the kitchen. Wait a minute. Did, was she holding a knife when she made him a birthday cake? Eddie, what was it I need to do again? Show me the problem. Only then I will be able to help you. Could you give me a knife? That would be so... Oh, is that a knife? No, it's not. Hold on. Okay, put you there. Wait. 
No, let's let's try. Hold on. Knife, 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 knife. God damn it! This pisses me off more. All right. You. Oh. I think I got it. Show me what's the problem, right? The problem in her old time it's it's her. Must be her. So get the shit out. That's her problem. It's the old lady, the husband's dad. That's the problem. Do you see it? The tentacle, shaped like an old woman, is drawing energy from you. Show me the problem. Only then will I will would I be able to help. <laughs> but <sighs> so I'm guessing the husband is the problem. It's not the old lady. Ah, uh. <laughs> Probably not. They're gonna be together, aren't they? Yep. It's gonna be the same shit. Do you see what I'm saying here? Tentacles, mom. Not mom, but your husband's mom. Show me the problem, and only. <laughs> Is there a... Hold on. Hold on. Am I missing anything here? Since she won't give me... Oh, maybe that's the problem. I think I got it. Since she won't give me the goddamn scissors and stuff. Go here. Right? And she'll be here. Go over here. Right? To the backyard. Since there's no image or the photograph of the backyard. So talk to her. Yo, Eddie. Sup? You, what do you need? I need dummy. I can pull them out. Um, the knitting. The knitting. Scissor? But I need them to trim the yarn. Please? I can't do without them. The knitting! I'm sure you will, dear. Fuck it. You, this. The tentacle seems to have borrowed the shape of the old woman. I wonder why, because that's the problem. That's the fing problem. Here's a problem. This scene right here. This is a huge problem here. You know? This here is the huge problem. I mean, yes, the tentacle is the problem. The grandma, I shouldn't say the grandma, but you know what? At this point, yeah, sure, grandma. It's not grandma. The mother, I should say. Sorry. This is the problem. She's watching you having sex. Now, 
I show you what's the problem. Can we talk? I guess... I guess not. Hold up. Never mind. She's basically watching them after they finish having sex. So, sure. But Eddie, that is the problem. Wait a minute. Can I... Oh. Whoa. I think I got it. Phone. Use the phone. What the fuck? How? How? What? Is this even possible? Morton. The police. The police. Wait, how many? Was that more than three dials? Oh, what the f- I can't help around that. Shut up. Mr. Willard. Ow, ow, stop. Stop the screaming, stop the row! Come on. Okay. It's not the phone. What the shit do I need here? What do I have to show the problem? What more does she need? What can I bring? What? Is it the baby? Is this is is the son? Oh my God! Please. It's, uh... This is not the problem. What was it I need to do again? Show me the problem. Only then I will be able to help you. Uh, anything? Anything? Teddy, could you help me? Oh, 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 oh. Right, Teddy. No? No? No, shit. Hello, who are you? I already have to have to have to enter. I have to go. Ah, whatever. Oh, Teddy. Teddy. Why? I mean, it's not your fault, but... You got a knife, bro? A gun? Rocket launcher, RPG? I don't care, man. Do you have anything that could kill the tentacle? No? Shit. Enter, leave apartment. Okay. So. 
I'm guessing if I gave her photos, right? So, give her this to her. Eddie, I have an idea. Can you catch this if I throw it at you? I doubt it. But I can lower my sewing bag to you if that's alright. Sure. Yes! Okay. Eddie, I love you so much. Here, take this. I put the photo in the bag, Eddie. A photograph of it. Oh, oh, Eddie, you can, you can pull it up. You can't reel it in the bag now, Eddie. Alright. Now what? Do you see the photo? Yes. No! 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 No, 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 no. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I need you to jab it with the needle. Alright. I've jabbed the needle through the photos. That's it. I thought something would happen, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, you got the. Thank God. Oh, it was worth a try, though. Eddie! Shit! Shit! Never mind. Can, we, can you lower the bag again, Eddie? Of course, dear. I. I put the photo in the bag. Uh, you can reel, reel in the bag now, Eddie. Alright! Oh, thank God nothing happened to you, Eddie. Now what? Do you see the photo? Yes. Now jab the shit out of that. Alright. I've jabbed the needle through the photo. That's it. I thought something would have happened, but I guess I was wrong. It was worth a try, though. Sit down. Shit! Hold on. Okay. Eddie. This time. Eddie, I have an idea. Can you catch this if I throw it at you? I doubt it. Uh, let me lower my sewing bag. Sure. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah. There. I put the bag in the photo. You can't reel it in the bag now, Eddie. Alright. Now, do you see that photo? Yes. Cut that sh photo in half with the scissor. Alright. Yeah! Oh, it did a sh. Whoa. Well done, Mr. Def. I thought I'd never be rid of her. Does this mean everybody in the building is safe? There's still two more dreams to visit before we're in the clear, Eddie. I'd admire your dedication to your neighbors. It's, it's not just about my neighbors, Eddie. My wife is also under the influence of the machine. And she's pregnant, so... I see. That's why I had to knock you and your friends out. With drugs. That probably could have killed you. Sorry. My family was on the line. I didn't see any other way to help them. 
That's understandable, Victor. I had a family too once. I would have done anything for them as well. I hadn't thought about it in, the, in those terms. No? I didn't realize that that's what I'm doing until just now. I'm sure you've had a lot to consider. The strange thing is, I didn't even... I didn't even want a kid. But you changed your mind? I guess I must have. I can't remember when, though. Just this morning, I had this perfectly serene dream, like everything was back to normal again. And then, I woke up. It was until the machine started threatening us that I started to. You had to risk losing something to start appreciating it. That's a pretty common trait. Um, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. It's natural to feel conflicted about these things. I'd be far more worried if you approached fatherhood flippantly or with no hesitation at all. When Alicia told me she was pregnant, I really strained my smile. Unwelcome news, I take. I felt a cold, sinking feeling. But she seemed so happy. I didn't want to ruin her moment, you know. Some would call that considerate. No, it wasn't. It was easy. I forced my smile because it was a path of least resistance. In the back of my mind, I was already pound pondering how I could persuade her. It seems like you were unsuccessful. That's the worst part. I hardly tried at all. I was... I just passively coasted along until it was too late. Being passive is also a decision. You could have bailed out, but you didn't. That pretty much sums up my life. You don't seem so passive now, though. Barging through dreams to save your family? I guess it took something like this to wake me up. You know what that tells me, Victor. No. It tells me you're going to make a pretty good father. I... I don't know about that. You really think so? Of course, dear. It's strange how easy I can express these thoughts to you. I hardly know you. And I haven't even admitted much of this to myself. The subconscious is a strange and powerful thing. Now, I hope you don't find me rude. But there's something tugging on this old chair. Throw down the bag and I'll secure you to the trunk over there if you want. I'm pretty sure that would just uproot the tree. It, it will? <laughs> it? <laughs> this place is falling apart whether I want it to or not. It probably isn't safe for you here anymore. So... This is goodbye, then. Who knows? We're just sandcastles, Victor. I'm sure a piece of me will reform on some faraway beach somewhere down the line. Perhaps we'll meet again there. I'm sure we will. For that, it's worth. I'm sorry I just disrupt your tea party you spent too much time apologizing Victor wish me luck instead 
Good luck, Eddie. Give my regards to your little family once this ordeal has been dealt with. I will. Goodbye, Victor. Goodbye, Eddie. through that black or white hole galaxy looking thing but you know what I'll fix this and I'll come back for you too wait for me bro friend